morning, my fellow heroes and mga kapunchers. This is your N Hero Nagato, and I'm doing very well now. Thank you so much for all of your kind words. I was a bit under the weather for the past uh, two days, but you know, I'm starting to uh, recover now again. Thank you so much, guys. I'm now fully recuperated, guys, which means it's not a high time for me to release another video for you all. Uh, and for today's video, this is going to be an interesting one. To commemorate our fourth week of playing OPM, we will be talking about the five big don'ts I have realized in my fourth week of playing. So if you'd like to get to know more about that, just kindly tune in and please do not forget Mga punchers, don't forget to subscribe, ring the notification bell, like, comment, and share for more OPM related videos. Our first don't, my fellow heroes, is please do not forget to start your day without changing the moods of all of your characters in your home. We have said we're now entering the month or our first month playing uh, OPM and this is actually the main thing that I should have realized early on. Yeah, it's, it's really hard, you know, I, I would truly understand it. It's really hard to tap and tap and tap and tap uh, for you to change the mood uh, of your characters but it's going to, you know, uh, help you progress in the game in the long run. And you heard it right, that is primarily because of the coins that you receive uh, there's a huge difference if they're not happy uh, they will just give you 2,000 coins and if they're happy they will give you 4,000 coins and in addition to that uh, the XP points that or the XP bottle that you'll be able to get it's it's way way beyond or it's way way different if they're in a happy mood or you know if they're if they're sad or whatnot so I would highly recommend for you to save up and to always start your day by changing all of their moods uh, it's not well it's just like an hypothesis right yeah I'm a pay to play player but luck will play, you know will still play a very significant role in, in pooling SSRs and I think I was able to get again this is the, this is just based on my experience uh, this is just a hypothesis that whenever they're really happy or you know they have good moods uh, I'm, I'm talking about your heroes or your your monsters it's easier for me to it's not you know every day that I get SSRs right uh, nonetheless most of the time if they're really happy and I would like you know try to uh, recruit for heroes I'll be able to get SSRs if they're in a happy mood so it's you know just pull at your own risk let me know your thoughts if that if that has or if that had worked for you uh, but it had worked for me uh, reason why I think you know I have a lot of SSRs right here I think I almost got every everyone in the pool uh, of course except uh, glory bus and I forgot the name of the guy here it's Mel Mel's our guard so those are the only two characters that I, I don't have in my uh, roster right now and I, I have a lot of dupes you know uh, of this SSR heroes and I'll just pull uh, let's say 40 40 times uh, in, in two weeks and the main reason why I can do that is because every week you receive uh, vouchers right you receive like 600 diamonds and I usually uh, you know I, I usually use that or buy that uh, to do my weekly recruit so yeah again do not forget I know it's really hard to top and top and top uh, but it will go a long way and it will definitely progress easier if you do this get in our list guys please do not ever and never activate your set buff if you don't have good gears you heard it right my fellow heroes because I, I think this is one of our biggest mistakes in the game we're in we're being blindsided by the fact that there you know the set buff is there for us to activate not even considering the stats will, will they be relevant to the character that we're going to use in the arena or you know wherever else 
So it, it's very, I'm, you know, I'm saying this to you now because I need to learn it the hard way that please do not be blindsided by set buff. Yes, it's crucial, it's important, definitely. But if you're starting in the game, let's say level 50, level 60, we're in, it will be difficult for you to farm or to do auto farm. In stage 9, Conqueror's Challenge, we're in majority of the gears are relevant to the character it, it you know you're just gonna waste your time because I had the scenario where in most of the you know questions are relevant to set buff and then they would give me a screenshot of am I having death and HP set just to activate the 10% attack for you know on the set buff and I was like yeah I, I, I truly understand that 10% is uh, an increase to the stat of your character to Amai to be more specific but Amai is an attacker so Amai will shine if you will give him uh, attack related uh, gears correct so and, and again always ask yourself will the will this be relevant to to my character will the gear that I'm going to give benefit my or you know uh, will help my character shine in arena both in arena and pve and you know eventually guys you'll just be amazed or you'll just be tongue-tied because uh, once you reach let's say level 65 and you, you already have amazing uh or nice gears it would be easier for you to get this uh set buff activated you know why because it you know eventually you'll get a lot of shining blue uh, in, in the shop and at level 66 uh, purple gears as well so right here speed is very relevant to child emperor because he's one of my main or core uh, in pvp so that's the reason why gladly i was able to find like an attack speed uh, monk set gears uh, to him uh, same with uh, let's say beast king right here it took me a while i really grinded for this uh, a gangster set for him who else uh, okay my dr. Janice for you know our boss challenge reason why I was able to get 12 million because I was able to uh, get or give him a suit or you can use casual as well uh, gears uh, to him so it, it will take time for you to activate this buff but it's going to be worth it but it's not really about everything uh, bottom line guys always always make sure to think and to strategize what's the best or what's the role uh, of the character and by then that's the only time that you can give him or her the best gears can I get an amen to that third in our list guys is do not listen to everybody yeah may it be about your lineup may it be the best uh, character may it be the gears that you uh, currently have on in your you know uh, in your character do not listen to whatever they say you know your account uh, you know the best way possible because you're the one who's playing it right uh, just kindly you know uh, give your or do yourself a favor from you know uh, of making sure that you're enjoying the game and not you know listening uh, to everyone or, or, or you know comparing your account to everyone so it, it's really a matter of you enjoying the game so there might be a lot of circumstances wherein you're a fan of Moomin, uh, you're a fan of, let's say, Golden Ball, or you're a fan of Boros in the game, or in the anime rather, and just because, you know, the, the character will not be relevant in the current meta, you're not going to level up the, the character. And guys, do not shy away from the reason why you're playing the game, why we're enjoying the game, right? It's because we love the anime, or we have some you know characters that we're always rooting for so I, I know we all have different personal reasons why we're playing the game and I just don't want us to shy away from the main reason why we're playing uh, and, and you know it's definitely to have fun uh, to take good care of the character that we love in the anime so just really my uh, you know personal thoughts and always listen to yourself and always play uh, at your own face because the, the moment that you start or the moment that you started comparing your account to other account you know that's the moment that you will become frustrated that you will become disappointed uh, and eventually you will quit the game and we're this is not a sprint guys this is a marathon uh, there's a lot of characters or amazing characters that will come in in the game 
So, it, you know, start saving up all of your black tickets uh, to get at least one or two uh, exclusive character in the next coming months. So, that's actually my personal thoughts. And uh, I'm coming from the people uh, that been asking me about their lineups because it's a bit frustrating that they would always say that, oh, my, my, you know, my friend is using this, my colleague is actually using this with this. Uh, always ask yourself, with the... Will the character benefit your, uh, you know, your current lineup? Because you know uh, your account, uh, you know, thoroughly more than anyone else. Because you're the one, again, you're the one who's paying it. So that's, I think, the main important thing that you'd like to realize or to have mindset about when you're starting, uh, you know, a game like this. Okay? Okay, my fellow heroes, fourth uh, in our list is, I, I think you've been hearing this a lot coming from me, that do not always focus, uh, you know, with only SSR heroes uh, in your roster. Because, uh, you know, at first or in the early stage of the game, uh, you'll notice that, oh, you have a, you know, a huge amount of BP. But as you move forward, you will come across that a lot of other players will have more than let's say 160 or 170 in one character and that is because uh, they have utilized their SR units and as far as resources are concerned it's easier for them to be you know limit break for for you guys to five to put them into five star status so uh, again I couldn't emphasize enough or I couldn't emphasize more that it should be at least uh, two if you're you know if you're free to play at least two SSRs and the remaining uh, four units should be SR or R. You know, as far as uh, I'm concerned, and based on my experience as well, if you're not a, if you're if you don't have like a specific budget for the game uh, every month, it will be difficult for you, or it will be very impossible for you to you know caught up uh, in the arena if you just really focus on your SSR. So guys, be. Uh, aware of SSR units yes they're super super rare from the word itself so the dupes are super super rare as well okay if you guys are wondering this is actually our fifth and last in our bucket please do not recycle your SR R or N units uh, primarily because of the stats that they're going to give you uh, in the long run and I will explain to you why so if you're gonna go uh, in your home, and if you're gonna go to your figurine, uh, if you can see, there are a lot of uh, R units that you need to level up for you to be able to meet all of your targets. That will definitely increase your battle points and the stats of your uh, characters without even leveling them up. So you just need to limit break them and it's easy. Uh, it's cost efficient moreover let's say I will I will be able to level 3 this guy right here or to 3 star this uh, character right here it will give me uh, if I will be able to meet the plan and target it will give me roughly around 2500 uh, stat boost uh, in you know in all of my characters so this are effective so for you guys who have been wondering what is this for uh, all of the bonuses will be added to all of your characters maybe in your lineup or you're going to use them in here when monster uh, it's automatic that you'll be able to get the stat boost uh, if they're coming from the figurine uh, upgrade so that's because at first I recycled all of my R and N units gladly I've been pulling epic uh, recruit so I was able to get a lot of dupes and that's the main reason why I was able to get a lot of uh, upgrades in my in my figurine area. So, guys, <laughs> again, please do not you know recycle all of your S. Uh, I mean, all of your R uh, and N units because they will be very valuable uh, in upgrading your stats uh, in your figurine area. Okay, so that's pretty much all about it. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. And if you have any other questions or if you have any 
or if you have your own don't list uh, just kindly you know use the comment section down below and please do not forget to like and subscribe and share to this uh, to other club mates this is your n hero nagato again may we all have a lovely afternoon goodbye guys